We're gonna make graham cracker coffee cake. And my lovely assistant for this one is Isabel. Thank you. So you don't cook at home? I don't use, well, so I cook for myself, but Maddie usually will cook dinner. But what I'll cook is uh, pancakes that um, Caleb always teases me about because they are always burnt. This, you can take this recipe home. And I could. You can wow I'm, them. Yes. Are you going to yes. wow them when you go home? I am. Ah! I am. I'm going to show them what I made, and they're going to be so impressed. It's going to be amazing. They are. They are. We turned the oven on to 350, because that's the magical temperature of everything Beautiful. in the world. And then we prepared the pan. Butter, straight up butter in the pan, okay. and then parchment paper. So this is the filling and the topping. We have a block of graham crackers, okay. and half a cup of melted and then cooled butter, Okay. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And one and a half cups of brown sugar, like pressed. So you're just gonna throw those into this bowl. Okay. Me? Yeah. Okay, just. I'm giving you mad skills. Yeah, right, 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 right. To go home and be, right. be like, What if I don't? Okay, wait. Okay, cool. Her. Wow, that's beautiful. All of that. Yeah. Why do you cool the butter instead of putting it in? Hot? Maybe because I don't want it to burn me. I don't know. Okay. Cool. Just down low so it doesn't oh. splatter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool beans. Good. And then. Yeah. Take this and you just hit the snot out of it. If you're having a bad day and you're angry, this is a great meal to make when you're angry. I feel like that's dangerous. I feel like you won't Whack the snot out of that. Really? Yeah, just hit it. There's, yeah. Just let me, like yeah. how? I don't Let's know, do that looks great. Oh, oh. You can have some. that's great, perfect. Okay, cool. I'll take that as a time to stop. Maybe when it bursts, it's done hitting, being hit. So go ahead and take it, okay. open it and empty it into there. Okay. All of it, yeah. Even though there's like chunks, it's fine? Yeah, I think so. Okay. The thing is, is cooking is a lot, it's pretty easy. It's just easy. There's a lot you can mess up. I feel like there's like it so many matter. people who would disagree with that. I well, think you sad. just have a skill with it. You just have like, you think it's easy because you have fun with it. But some people are like nervous. Do you like, oh. I get really nervous because I'm worried that I, like something's gonna go wrong and they won't like it. So I'm more of a nervous cooker than anything. We're gonna use our hands with this recipe. I'm just letting everybody know, straight up. Get used to it. Your best tool in the kitchen is in fact, your hands. Your hands. Okay, for the main body of the coffee cake. Yeah, it's one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. Okay. One teaspoon of baking powder. Beautiful. And one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Ah, yes. Smell that. So much goodness in this spice. Oh, this is fantastic. I know, it's my favorite spice. Let's go ahead and mix that really well. Okay. Your dad loves angel food cake. Yeah. It's an abomination. It is amazing. No but however, I do think this tastes better. But for my birthday, I think I always drifted towards angel food cake. So we're just gonna set this aside and then we have one and a half cups of butter and a half a cup of sugar. And we're gonna cream that into goodness. That's good. Do yeah. you not wanna, which part do you not wanna mix too much because the cake will be, what is it, like gammy? Like at the end, it'll be rubbery. At okay. The end. So right now you're fine to mix okay, it. Cool. So we're kind of beating it a little bit. You can be done. Okay. But we're gonna add two eggs into it. Yeah, Wait, perfect. Oh. See, it's just a little oh, tiny seam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're right, you're right. Good cool. Job, and then we have okay. a half a cup of sour cream. Okay. Cool. Cool. And then it's like a teaspoon of vanilla, or just like a cap or a cap of vanilla. A cap of vanilla. I like that every time it calls for a teaspoon, I just do a cap. Maybe more, because I love it. Generous, do it with love. A lot to measure with love, baby. Okay. And then, does it matter the speed? Um, let's just start slow, because it doesn't make a schleppy mess. Right. Perfect. That's yeah, that's great. This is the flour mixture. Pour it in now? Yeah. Cool. Now this is a spot where you can over mix it, and you don't want to. So just okay. gently put it all together. Like fold, is that the right term? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you okay. can hold it, yeah. Okay, that's probably good. I wouldn't okay, do more. Really? Okay. So now is the fun part. Okay. So you're gonna take about half of that batter okay. and put it on here, just like half of it. So you're just scooping out little bits. That way it's like easier very to little. spread. I think so, that, okay. that way it's easier to spread. So this is the part okay. that you're gonna get in your hands messy. Okay. So what you do is you just get your hands wet. You can use butter spray or water and you just press it down. See that? Oh, and it doesn't stick. 
No, nope, because your hands water. are wet. Okay, <laughs> let's grab the topping okay. in the center. Okay. Yep. So half of it is going to go here. And this is the part where let's just kind of take half of it and sprinkle it. So you kind of take it like this okay. and maybe just like sprinkle it on there like that. Okay. I think the best yeah. part about coffee cake is the inconsistency. Because sometimes you get that bite of goodness and yeah. you're like, I need that, you know? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the next layer. Like that big, you think? I think so. Okay. Just and kind then... of. Yeah, you're gonna put maybe like nine little scoops. So nine? you've got like okay. three and three, like a mathematical equation. I don't know. We wanted to experiment with this recipe a lot. So we yes. remember we went to the store and we just, we got granola and we were gonna mix the granola. We got oats. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Remember, yeah. we just went crazy. We we're gonna just, just try cookies. So my kids aren't, you don't like nuts. Sometimes. Yeah, but you Sometimes. don't want it in this. No, I like, yeah. I just, I don't want it to like take away from the flavor. Yeah, so my kids, they don't like nuts in things, not all the time, like nuts in cookies, anything like that. Yeah. So we decided to experiment a little bit and we tried several variations. One was an oat one, which is your your favorite. My favorite, yeah. Um, and then this graham cracker one, which was it definitely my It just tasted like coffee cake. The oat one didn't really taste like coffee cake. No. It just tasted like deliciousness. deliciousness. Exactly. Yeah. So you can also use two forks and kind of get the forks wet and spread oh, wow. them with the forks as well. So let's just grab the topping okay. now. Um, we can still use the spoon. You're just okay. gonna kind of put it on. Cool. Spoon, put it on. You can just kind of pour it and just. Really? Okay. You're gonna use all the rest of it okay, now. Cool. So. so I don't have to. No. I can just go crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool beans. Okay, you think that looks good? Yeah. Okay, cool beans. Put it in the oven? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Parchment paper lift, here we go. That's so fancy. <gasps> wow. wow. That's what you can wow them with at home. Then we should, can Just we, that. Can what we, if we do this? Wow. Look at that, Mom. Look at that. That was incredible. Do you want to take that piece? Yeah, it's okay. a little bigger. All of them, okay. I want a middle one. You like middle? Yeah, you I like the, the goo. Mm -mm. Really? I like the gooey center of oh. everything. So brownies, wow. I want the gooey Wow. Hey, That's look amazing. at that. Ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. You gonna make this at home, Matt and Caleb? Well. The babies? They're yes. gonna let you in the kitchen all the time. Yeah.